All right, we are going to do, or at least you're coming along on a trip to go uh, fix a paddock. I've uh, mentioned in another video that uh, once you build your paddocks or once you do things, this applies to everything I suppose, not just paddocks, but uh, you want to maintain them. <sighs> We've got a brand new paddock out back here, going to be um, uh, including in our services here, just making sure that it's just right before it gets uh, filled up full time. There's a couple of spots that were a little bit low. One of the things about building paddocks is, uh, unless you can get down to some kind of hard pan, uh, hard clay, things like that, uh, you're going to be building on top of dirt and possibly mud, depending on the time of year that you build it. And so when things settle, you'll get your ups and downs and, and the, the fabric that we laid down. And I'll put a link in the description about another paddock that we did. Uh, it will tend to kind of move a little. And when the horses go ahead and step on this stuff, and we've got a few good inches of material in here, but when the horses step on it, it actually moves things around and the, the fabric will move a little bit. And once in a while, when they really get going and they dig in, uh, if they happen to hit a spot that's a little bit on the high side, so if the fabric should be laying flat and there's a particular amount of material on top of that but when you get those little divots and stuff um, if they're on a high point and they happen to sort of dig in with their toes and go there's a possibility they'll dig a little bit of a hole um, get down to the fabric and make a hole in the fabric now that's not abnormal it happens and i wouldn't say that uh you know you can never expect it to happen unless you really put down a thick thick base but it's a lot of money to do that so I've got a couple of spots in here uh, where the boys um, dug up and I will show you here. I've got my materials, my gloves, I've got a halter because I'm going to go get them to come back when I'm done. So I'm prepared to do everything right now to get on to my next thing, uh, which is ahead on another trail ride. So anyway, so we've got our first hole right here. I'll show you. And as you can see, um, you know, it's, it's dirt, it's made it past the fabric. I'm just going to put my gloves on and uh, so I don't get my fingernails all dirty. Just kidding. So what we're going to do is, is essentially dig out where this hole is. There's a pretty big hole. And what happens when they when they sort of get their hoof in here, this one's probably dug out. I wouldn't expect that this was done uh, through uh, just taking off on the spot, but this is probably dug. And horses dig all the time. Uh, so you really have to, you have to try to get a good layer of material in and tamp it down. This stuff is still a little bit fresh, uh, so it's got some give to it. And um, and in turn, when they dig, they kind of dig it up a little bit easily. Uh, so when you get this kind of thing happening, uh, the reason we're going to repair this is because, I think I've forgotten my scissors, uh, is, is we want to separate the dirt uh, from the gravel clearly there, there should not be any holes when you put down fabric um, and you get any holes in it uh, you're, You might as well not have put down fabric. This isn't for weeds at all This is to separate the two mediums the dirt and the gravel so that we don't get anything mushy coming up and it stays uh, pretty dry Because that's one of the biggest issues we have here in the lower mainland is uh, uh, wet hooves and thrush and mud fever and, and all kinds of stuff so we're trying to keep them as dry as we can uh, when they're just uh, hanging out in their paddock so so the first thing we do is uh, just clear this away so I'm gonna get to that and uh, I'll cut to that when I'm done I'm probably gonna go grab some scissors here it's a pretty decent sized hole I'm just gonna clear out enough uh, to uh, do what we need to do. So, uh, 
We'll come back to that in a second. Okay, we're back. Um, got some scissors, got some cloth here. Uh, if anybody's curious as to what we uh, use, it's this material here. Eh, let's turn it this way. So it's a, it's a pretty dense uh, it's a drainage cloth, I think it's called. It's not landscape fabric. Landscape fabric is a bit different. This is a really dense, strong cloth. Puts up with a lot of abuse. You can't really pull it apart. It's quite thick. Um, used for... I don't even know if you can tell. You can kind of see through it. So the idea is that water will be able to get through, uh, but material doesn't. Uh, so you can, you can separate out the mud from the gravel. So we're gonna, we've taken a, got these spare pieces all over the place from building paddocks and the, uh, the arena has a level of it as well, uh, underneath it. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, we don't get, no mud comes up. If you've ever been to the beach and you kind of tamp your feet or even just in some slightly muddy conditions, just tamp your hand or tamp your foot on the ground and it's not long before water starts to kind of come up and that's what happens in paddocks and arenas when they get a little bit muddy. They don't have quite the right drainage. Uh, and that will happen here as well with this, this little hole that we've got going on. So I've cut a piece that should fit. Um, here's our hole. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece here and place it underneath and tuck it all the way around. It's kind of hard for me to do with one hand, uh, so I'm going to cut back when I'm all done with this part as well. So, there you go. Okay, we're back again. Um, so the, the process is simple. When you get a hole like this, you get a piece that is bigger than the hole, a few inches, six inches or so, uh, if you can. and. Uh, and tuck it in so it looks a little like this. Clean. There's no real bumps in here. Uh, I've cleared away a lot of the gravel around it so that I could so I could essentially get my, my hand in and flatten this out as best as possible. We don't want any new lumps. But you can see there's this weird grade here. You know, you've got, it's not flat, this comes down. Uh, and that's just due to the, the area here. I mean, originally this whole area was really mucky and we had to really grade it just right, flatten it out and have it sit over summertime, um, drying out, and then we put the, the fabric and the gravel on. And uh, this inhibits the water from getting in here to make it even worse uh, for, uh, for the future. But, you know, we've got to make sure to have enough gravel on top of here to make sure the, the holes don't happen. So that's a real quick a quick video on um, fixing your paddock, why you want to fix the paddock. You'd never want to leave this, you'd never want to just put gravel back over top of it, otherwise you don't have that separation of the mud and the, uh, the gravel. And again, if, if, if you kind of stand on it, if this hole was here and you stood under it, you, you know, the horses continuously walk over it. We've got six months or so of pretty wet weather coming. Um, it, it wouldn't be long before the, the water and the mud starts to percolate up. And then you've just got this muddy section that would never go away unless we were to dig it out and refabricate, refabric, fabric, cover it with fabric, and then uh, gravel again. So I gotta get on with this. Got an impatient horse waiting to get back in here. Who looks like he's banging away at the gate a little. A couple more minutes. Okay, all done. And uh, you can see here. It's, uh, I don't know, it looks like the rest of the paddock, which is what it should look like. Uh, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Probably be doing more in the future. Um, I think I'm going to pack a little bit more material in here. Roll it and let the horses pack it down. But paddock maintenance, very high priority. Definitely stay on top of these things or uh, you'll kind of regret it because it'll get out of hand. But uh, hopefully that's helped somebody out there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys again soon.